Good morning. We're down in Naples at the Mark today. Uh, things are progressing pretty rapidly out on this job site. Today we're excavating the last of the foundations. Uh, we're on the opposite side of the job site that we started from last time. So we got the guys here digging what is basically the fourth stair tower. Uh, it'll get cast in place walls, much like the ones uh, you can see in the distance, about 12 foot high. Uh, we've got a, a cluster of activity on this side of the job site today as the guys are trying to get some of our excess form work out of the way. Our rod busters are continuing with column cages uh, to set directly onto these footers that we, we've been pouring back here. So this particular row is uh, pile caps. Um, because of a utility easement that we had through this section, uh, we uh, raised the elevations of them, installed auger piles, and then it's approximately 10 yards of concrete <laughs> simply in that section by itself. So right after the, the rod busters are completing their tasks, we've got all construction over here, uh, uh, making their modular forms work to complete the pool deck area. These columns are much shorter than the others. And the reason being is that this is exactly right underneath the swimming pool for the second floor deck. We can see right over here, the pile caps that we just poured yesterday, the guys are working on stripping them, getting this area cleaned up so that it's accessible uh, for us to not only um, lay out the columns, but we time to set the cages. Stair tower number two and elevator, no, or, excuse me, stair tower number three and elevator number three is poured. Still got a little stripping to do, um, but that, that this is the end of it. So literally today we are digging the last of the foundations. Our masons, they're not on site today. They've caught us up with all the stem wall and stuff, uh, which opens us up to do the rough grade. So we've been bringing in fill as they can finish and basically leaving the slab in a, a clean and fairly accurate condition. Um, again, we still got some stripping to catch up on around here and there, but this unit is ready for the plumbers uh, to move into. They so far are all the way down to the lobby, complete and this is where they'll resume. So this unit, next to last unit, is actually complete with plumbing in here and ready for our guys to come in and do the fine grade in preparation for slab work. Again, our various trades, plumbers and electricians, are working through here. Uh, sanitary sewer stubbed out through the planter walls. These, actually, these sections that stand out from the proud from the building are or planters, this would be a main entrance residential elevator. So, pretty fancy. <coughs> we started bringing in materials today, yesterday I should say, and uh, we got plenty more coming um, to go into these slabs. So these units down on the south end are complete with electrical and plumbing. Uh, today, we'll be down into the first two units doing a fine grade and edge form in preparation for our first slab pours, which will be next Tuesday, uh, three days out, two working days technically. <laughs> and this is pretty close to Rady. Um, again, Tuesday will be a big day next week. Today's Friday. Uh, we're digging these footers, we'll get inspected Monday afternoon, pour them out on Tuesday along with a couple of slabs and that'll open us up next week to begin our shoring for the first deck. Uh, currently, our post-tension engineer is just about done with the drawings, thankfully, and uh, that's kind of what we're waiting on to complete our revisions to the structurals. But in the meantime, there's a lot of flat open road that, and we're going to hit it. So with the help of all construction, uh, our subcontractor K&J doing our reinforcing and uh, a lot of work in-house. So until next time, see ya.